still want to show the thickness of the exterior walls. So the walls are constructed with studs, exterior siding, and on the inside the sheetrock. The studs in this wall are two by sixes, which really means that the stud width is five and a half inches wide. The sheetrock on the inside will be a half inch thick. The siding on the exterior we don't really care about because we're going to reference what's referred to as the face of studs. That's the outside line along the face of the studs going along the wall. So when we offset the line to show the thickness of the exterior walls, we'll offset the line five and a half plus half inch for the sheetrock, which is six inches. So we'll zoom out. We'll use an offset command. So I can type in offset at the command line, press enter. It asks me for the distance to offset. It will be six inches. I do not have to put the inches mark. AutoCAD knows it's in inches. Press enter. Select the object to offset. I'll offset this line and I'm going to offset it to this side. So I just click. I'll do the same with all the lines since all the exterior walls are going to be constructed with two by six studs and half inch sheetrock. Press enter to end the, end, end the command. And now I'm ready to take care of these corners. If you notice that when I offset the command, I have corners that overlap. There's a couple of ways that I can trim these. One is using the trim command. You'll find that here. Or I can type in trim at the command line. Press enter. What I'm going to do is select these two lines. Notice that I'm using a back selection box to select lines. Press enter. And I want to trim that line and that line. Press enter to end the command. Let me show you again on this corner. I'm going to select the trim command and it says to select objects. I'm going to select using a back, back selection window. I click here, then I pull my mouse across and select the two lines that I want to trim. Select those, press enter, and now I can select the lines that I want to trim back. Press enter again. I have another corner over here. I can do that. Notice if I press enter again without doing a different command, it just goes back to the trim command. Again, I'll use a back selection window. Notice I selected more than just the two lines, but let's see how this works. Press enter, and then I'll trim that line and that line. So it seems to know what's going on. So I'll press enter. Again, go down here. I have these lines, so what I'm going to do is select everything down here. Press enter. Then I can zoom into here and select that line and that line. Zoom in over here and select this line and this line. Press enter. Notice that using a good selection box will help speed up your um, drawing. Now I just have this one other corner that I need to figure out. I can't trim anything, There's, they're not crossing. What I would like to do is extend them or fillet them. So I'm going to use a fillet command. That's this button right here. Select it. And the first thing that I want to do is make sure of what radius is intended here. The radius is set to zero. That's the default. And that will work just fine for us. 
So it's asking for the first object. I'm going to take this line, and now it asks me for the second object. I'm going to fill it to this line, and it connects that together. And now my house has the exterior walls that are for 2x6 framing with half-inch interior sheetrock.